And so most guitar teachers, guitar YouTubers, etc., anybody who's involved in guitar lesson content, at some point in time, they talk about triads. Triads are three note chords consisting of the root, the third, and the fifth. Um, nice little trick that I like to use based on some ideas that have been done in the past are to take these triad shapes and to convert them into two string arpeggios, lead ideas. Uh, two, two songs that come to mind are Rainbows Kill the King and The Killing Road by Megadeth. I've covered them both in different capacities on this channel. I'll just show you quick examples of what I'm talking about. All right, so for the Rainbow song, it starts in a G minor shape, and that's in the intro. For the Killing Road, basically what he's doing is he's ascending up the neck, going from low to high. Um, so what I did a new way to use these is I just took this chord shape, this very simple chromatic chord idea, and what I did was I applied the triad shapes to it, and what I did was I just made these two string arpeggios that consisted of all the notes of the triad. And there is a sus chord in there, which technically is not a triad. I just used that to delay the resolution. So I'm going to show you real quick what I did, and I'm going to explain it afterwards. So this is the most simple, easiest chord progression of all time. Just four chords right in a row. Alright, and these are the triads right here. Now this is the triads in a lead shape. Alright, so wrapping this thing up. Um, yeah, that little riff that I play after the part with the um, two string arpeggio triads shapes, that part, that little riff there. That's harmonizing using minor, major thirds, and perfect fifths. Uh, it's like a combination of all of them. That's all based on the whole triad idea, root, third, fifth. And it's funny, it was interesting because I bought this magazine right after I got done making this, which pretty much anything with Van Halen I will buy, although there's really nothing new in this in regards to Van Halen. I, there's an Ingve Momstein section where he mentioned something about Far Beyond the Sun in regards to harmony, which is basically the same idea or similar idea to what I was doing here. I thought that was funny that I bought this like the day after I was done doing this. It's essentially where you're going to want to harmonize things because it's a waste if you're playing a bunch of stuff in unison, which is kind of the main idea here. Now, anyway, just a little something to show you. Um, yeah, I mean, basically the main idea is you're taking the high note from the triad and you're moving it to a lower string. So let's say your high note is on the B, you're moving it to the G. So you've got that long pull-off. It sounds a lot more fluid than if you were to sweet pick. Or if the high note is on the high E, you're moving it to the B, same concept. Um, also, it's a nice little thing to use where in the Megadeth song, you're connecting, let's say, this part of the neck to this part of the neck. It's another way to ascend, you know, very fluidly. Um, you know, it's, it's an idea that's not really used all that much either. So it's just a little something I figured I'd throw out there. Um, hope you got something out of it and enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.